cases from last year. It's uh, 290 cases that we received uh, uh, or uh, that was reported to us. Um, that doesn't mean that that's the actual number of cases because, of course, there are so many people who don't seek medical care and uh, their healthcare providers sometimes don't even test them for influenza. Well, I guess it's a, it's an interesting question, and uh, part of that is the the concern about the vaccine and the strains that changes every year, and uh, the belief some people have that maybe the vaccine is not effective in protecting them. But it's uh, again, it's the best defense that you can get rather than not doing anything at all, and uh, it requires a, a coordinated approach, and that's what we are trying to do with our community partners, to to come out as a group and make sure that the the community is aware, and we are providing them with the right kind of tools and right kind of um, uh, reasons and making it more accessible through family care providers, uh, through their uh, uh, pharmacist and through our clinics as well. So we are giving as much as we can to make sure that people come and uh, get their flu shots.